something happened last night. I haven't slept at all, but I have so much energy. When it got to 4.30, I figured the sauna would be opening at 5.30. And so I went at 6 and stayed till 7. And after that, I had the urge to come for a walk in nature. Saw a fish dive. And then I thought I would share with you something that I haven't shared before. But in order to tell you about last night, I have to tell you about a year and a half ago. During the height of my awakening, I had a dream. And in the dream, I was in a room with no walls or floor or ceiling, but it was a space that felt safe and cozy, but at the same time vast and open. And I was with somebody and this person was my partner of some kind. I didn't see a face but they had short cut hair and they were stocky, stocky bold. And they were in another dream as well. I'm still curious about who they are. <laughs> anyway, um, and during this dream, we were surrounded by angels. I knew they were angels. Nobody said anything at any point. I couldn't see them, but I knew there was a circle of them around us, hovering above the height that we were at, and behind them there were just so many of them, there were so many behind and behind. And they all reached out to send energy into my body, not into my partner, just into me. And as they did this in the dream, I could feel it in my physical body on the bed. It was strange. I hadn't had a dream like that before. At some point during the dream, the energy also felt really intense before I move on. It felt really uncomfortable, but at the same time, manageable so at some point during the dream or during this energy being sent I started to feel pain in my shoulder blades it was wings pushing out of my back from my shoulder blades I could feel them in my physical body on the bed feel the pain of that energy pushing through my skin I knew that the person who was beside me the partner was there to support me they didn't say anything they were just there beside me I eventually woke up and when I woke up I could still feel that energy coursing through my body. Three days later I had a meditation and in the meditation I wasn't that deep in yet. I was sitting on my mat on the floor 
legs crossed when suddenly I felt the same pain that was in my dream the pain of something pushing through my shoulder blades through my skin from my shoulder blade I snapped out of my meditation immediately and snapped my body around and spun back trying to see and feel reaching my hands and stretching my eyes as far as I could to see what the heck was going on behind me why could I feel wings pushing through my back it was very strange <laughs> needless to say no wings ever pushed through my back <laughs> and I wondered about it for the past year and a half what the heck was this about where do I even go to get answers about this? Is this something other people experience? Am I the only one that experienced this? I can't be the only one who's experienced There have to be other people who've experienced this. What does it mean? Who the hell am I? <laughs> All these questions that never got answered because I couldn't imagine where to begin searching, what to even search for. And then a few months ago, I came across a channeled article from Archangel Ariel, channeled by, cannot remember the woman's name, but I will put it in the description below. And in the article, she talks about 12 stages or levels of light body activation as I read through the article I recognized each stage as things that I'd been through okay so I've activated level one two three four five six seven the twelve stages eight <laughs> and there were wings at nine <laughs> And I read this and I was like, what? Well, I don't understand this. Are these physical wings? What kind of wings are these? What do you mean wings? Who gets wings? Is this like, where, where, who? <laughs> and I just, I, I, I just couldn't make sense of it. I just, it was all far too strange. I guess the whole awakening was all far too strange and eventually you kind of get comfortable with the thought as you get comfortable with the experience and with the experiences continuing on. So I, I, I kind of let it go and, and tried not to think too much about it because still the answer was not there, they just listed symptoms that could happen during light body activation which is just basically your energy body raising in vibration and then a few days ago I decided to post my question in a group of people I knew it wouldn't be strange to ask it in because all kinds of strange stuff happen with these people too so <laughs> wings would just be another thing another one of those things fish let me show you they're quite big look at that hmm what an appropriate place to be having this conversation. Look at the flower. <laughs> so anyway, um, I posed the question. I told them my experience in my post and then I asked, had anybody else experienced this? and or is there somebody who can explain what this is what it means what's happening 
and hmm, two people responded saying they've had the same experiences or similar experiences and one other responded saying she did too and after many years after her first experience with it she told someone about it and they told her it was duck? It's not a duck. <laughs> I thought I heard a duck. That it was etheric wings, ethereal wings. And as I dug into what etheric wings are, I recognized everything that was being described. It made so much sense. It connected with the article as well. And I laughed my head off. <laughs> I laughed my head off at the thought that, hey, I had etheric wings. <laughs> Isn't that the most insane thing you ever heard? Oh, I shouldn't even be, like, surprised because there have been so many insane things that have happened that are just... I question your sanity. They really make you question. Am I going completely nuts? Like, am I, am I really losing it? Am I, am I being hopeful about some kind of magical life? Some kind of magical existence? Am I giving meaning to something that has no meaning? Am, am I creating a story? out of nothing, out of coincidence. But the thing is, after that first time, or well, the second time that I had that experience with the wings, I would walk with them every day. <laughs> I always thought it was my imagination. I still don't know, maybe it was. But I would walk with the wings every day. I would walk with them or they would walk me, they would carry me. They would, I would feel so big. And these wings would stretch out from my shoulder blades and carry me. So, yesterday, I was standing in a park with my toes hanging off the edge of a step, a high step. And I closed my eyes and I visualized opening my wings again and stretching them out all the way. And then I just stopped to feel if I could feel any sensations in my body. Just to notice what was happening in my body. I noticed a couple of sensations here and there, but I noticed a lot of buzzing in my shoulder blades buzzing and then energy moving down from my crown into my feet down through me into the earth and then an urge to channel energy into the earth and I stood there my eyes closed at seven in the evening eight in the evening channeling energy in the park through my body through the palms of my hands through my entire body into the earth for healing to heal the earth and after I was done I flapped my wings and visualized myself on the edge of a building and leaping off and flying flying through the sky and just soaring <laughs> this probably sounds really nuts to you but I am on a high right now on an energy high maybe also on a high from not sleeping from having an incredible experience at the sauna in that water Something awoke in me last night again.
and it's still moving. And I'm curious to see where it takes me. One thing that is exciting is that I'm seeing the world with new eyes again. Eyes that have been clouded with loneliness, and clouded with coronavirus cases everywhere, clouded with noisy children. And desire to be somewhere else. And somehow, the past few days, that layering, that thick lens has been lifting bit by bit. And last night, it just, it just lifted. It's still lifting. It, I think it will continue to lift until a new cycle begins. But we are truly magnificent creatures. I wanted to share this story with you because I have not been comfortable even thinking about the idea of any kind of wings. I mean, I've, I've had to stretch my mind a lot during this awakening and old belief systems and the way that I've previously viewed life has just completely crumbled, shattered. But this, this one is just... <sighs> I'm still making sense of this one. And, and I think this is a beautiful moment to share. It's not the moment where we've got it all figured out and we know the answers and we feel confident and comfortable with our awakening. We'll feel confident and comfortable with our higher selves and speaking from that place. We feel confident and comfortable with our wings. I'm speaking from a place now of awe and wonder and curiosity and amazement. And just opened eyes, unfiltered eyes or less filtered eyes waiting to see what unfolds next. This has been kind of really beautiful for me to share with you guys. The ninth level of light body activation, ninth of twelve. And that is something that makes me feel incredibly close to God, to Source. I mean, you can't even comprehend what it means. I can't even comprehend what it means. You can read an article and listen to a channeling about it, about light bodies, about Source energy, about higher selves and souls and you can have the experiences you can understand them at a deeper level but here this place cannot comprehend your physical body can comprehend it can know it can understand the deeper part of your mind can know and understand but this Simone part, this layered on part from experiences of the world, that part can only understand it from an intellectual perspective, even through experience.
I walked around with my wings spread, carrying me for months. I did it in between over the last year and a half as well. <laughs> and I had no idea that etheric wings can be seen felt I felt them can be seen with your physical eyes <sighs> we are truly magnificent creatures I'm gonna end this here it's been 20 minutes of me talking and long moments of silence and if you got to the end of this video <laughs> well done <laughs> You, you are an incredibly awe-inspiring creature, a magnificent creation. You are God in physical form. You are source. You have source running through you. Remember that.